All right, we are back today with some WWE 2K24 My GM with, of course, ECW. I'm going to be honest, I should have went back and watched my previous video because I kind of forget off the top of my head where we left off with some certain rivalries, which should make this very interesting. But we'll figure it out as we go along. We left off, we did the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. We uh, tried to do some trades, didn't work out. A couple of you guys left me some comments, let me know a couple of things. As I've said in the previous two videos, I'm just winging this whole thing. My GM's been out for two video games now, but I really haven't dived that much into it and really bothered to learn. So, so again, we're just winging it. So where do we leave off? We are uh, Baltimore, Maryland. This is show eight of 25. We are two weeks away from the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. So I guess it's going to be the SummerSlam episode. All right, let's take a look at their roster real quick, just to refresh my memory and yours. Our ECW world heavyweight champion kevin owens our most popular guy at 81 uh, our tag team champions dexter loomis and of course Ilya dragunov who just took the titles off baron corbin and braun breaker i believe in the last episode we have bray wyatt on our roster which one thing i do very much remember about the last episode is that we were starting to set up a little bit of tension between bray wyatt and kevin owens i asked you guys which one we should turn heel i believe we're gonna go kevin owens heel even though he's at 81 popularity bray wyatt 69 uh, I don't know, maybe I'll flip a coin, but one of them's going heel, and they're fighting at SummerSlam. Randy Orton, our current television champion. We also have AJ Styles, Wesley, Brunson Reed, Dijak, Cedric Alexander, Corbin, Breaker, Frazier, and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Hell of a roster, if I say so myself. And it looks like I already used my talent scouts for this week in the last episode. Nobody who I'm uh, looking to pick up. We did have Santos Escobar previously on our roster, and uh, somebody reminded me, in my comments of the last video that I should have accepted the trade that I believe one of the brands offered me Cruz del Toro and I should have honestly took it so I could pair up LWO but too late now and of course you know we got Roman Reigns we got Cody Rhodes in here as well Ronda Rousey is like super popular uh, I, I believe she was the most popular guy or girl, gal whatever superstar uh, in the draft when we first started Ronda was like number one but don't have a women's title so no reason to really have any women on our roster sorry so I think we're just gonna keep our roster as is so where do we want to start this week you know I'm looking at our power cards right here we do have the get the tables power card which by the way when that ECW pack DLC comes out, we can add the Dudleys to something like this. Oh my God. It's going to be freaking sick. But the Get the Tables power card says one randomly booked tables match on your show will be rated higher than normal. We're going to go ahead and use that. Um, I'm not sure if that comes into play this week that I'm about to book or the next week, but either way, we'll just book tables matches each week and they're going to be good for us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we do have this power card as well. It says, I know a guy, but like, no, a nation. I know a guy. How many times do you guys think I've heard that throughout my life? I know a guy. I know a guy. Shut up. Immediately gain 10 talent scout points. That is good to have. However, I'm just thinking, I'm just going to pass this week. I'm going to save that. Maybe till like mid-season, which maybe we're getting close there. So maybe after SummerSlam, we'll use this power card. We also have two promises to currently keep. Promised Kevin Owens a main event match this week. We also promised Randy Orton a main event match this week. And I believe we decided in the last video that uh, we were just going to have him team up or something like that. So we'll probably just go ahead and book that show. And our commissioner goal for this week is to have our most popular babyface and heel fight each other so kevin owens is our most popular face let's see who our most popular heel is most popular heel would be die jack would be die jack so him and him and owens have been going at it him and orton as well so this this is actually gonna work out for us we can do owens and orton versus die jack and reed in our main event let's go ahead and book it if you're wondering why i'm so energetic we're drinking a prime we're drinking a prime while recording we don't have logan paul on our roster but we probably should all right, nonetheless, let's give Baltimore, Maryland a friggin' show. So, tag team... No, we won't. We'll save... Well, no, 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 wait. Fuck. Tag team normal matchup. There we go. Uh, we'll do a tables match, but we'll do it later on. We'll do We'll do Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. It's going to be champions versus challengers. This is great. Kevin Owens and Randy Orton will take on Dijak and Bronson Reed. This is a hell of a matchup. Dijak and Reed real low on stamina right now hopefully they come out unscathed but we got to do what we got to do that's a hell of a main event if i say so myself let's go ahead and book a let's go ahead and book a hot opener we will book a 
Uh, tables match up, opening us up here at uh, in Baltimore, Maryland for ECW Hardcore at TV. I know I said we were going to start Owens and Bray, but we got to do it. Maybe we'll turn Bray heel, actually, in a promo this week. So let's we'll go back to that. Um, tables match up. We will go Dexter Loomis taking on... Uh, we'll go Baron, uh, Baron Corbin, Braun Breaker. A little bit of history there. Good stylistic matchup, tables matchup as well. I have a feeling this one's going to do some good for us. All right, and then we will do, let me find it in here, a class for roll change, roll change, roll change. That's the one we need. Roll change uh, promo for Bray Wyatt. So Bray Wyatt going heel. I know people were saying Kevin Owens, but I'm going to go Bray Wyatt here because Owens is our most popular babyface. So Bray, heel turn, and then we'll really kick off him and KO. Even if we really can't ramp it up on the road to SummerSlam, they'll be our next main feud, whatever. After that, we will book a singles matchup between uh, Ilya Dragunov, one half, the other half of the tag team champions, taking on, uh, maybe we can do Corbin, Dirty Dom, uh, who do we want to do? That sounded bad. Um, I mean, he's been feuding with nobody's like sticking out as like a stylistic, you know, matchup. So you know what? We'll go. Uh, we'll go Baron Corbin. They're, you know, their stamina are pretty low too. Uh, but we got to do what we got to do. You know, hopefully, just nobody comes out. You know, scaved up this week, scarved up, whatever, scaved up. And then the last match on the show. How many? We have five. Uh, talent. We have five talents left to uh to book here. So. Let's go ahead into our match types and we will do good old fatal four-way matchup and we will have in this matchup aj styles we will have uh cedric alexander we will also have let's just do the i guess we'll just do the most popular guys right and just well i mean should we put a heel in here should we put dom in here I mean, sorry to leave Nathan Frazier out, but all right, we'll do a, we'll do that fatal four way. I think it should be pretty good. And then since everybody else is working the show, let's just have Nathan Frazier do a little self promo. Maybe it'll do him some good. And then there we go. I think we're starting out hot this week. Hell of a hell of a uh, show here, if I say so myself. So let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and confirm this booking here. Uh, absolutely love when that ECW graphic comes up. All right, we got Dexter Loomis taking on Braun Breaker. Who's going to be? Leave your predictions down below in the comments, even though you already know the winner, because the winner is Dexter Loomis. I knew it was going to be Dexter Loomis. No, but in all seriousness, I already know what the thing, like the show notes are going to say. It's going to say, open or outshine the main event or some shit like that. But Dexter Loomis, four and a half star classic against Braun Breaker in the tables match. Damn it, we should have put it in the main event. Nonetheless, Bray Wyatt turning heel. It should be very interesting to see how that feud uh, progresses. We're booking Bray and Kevin Owens. We have Ilya Dragunov taking on Baron Corbin. Uh, didn't these two have a pretty good matchup at NXT last year? Look at that. We're just we're just on point with our booking. Uh, Two-star mediocre, so obviously not that great. But Dragunov picks up the victory. Uh, good promo by Nathan Frazier there. I'll take it. We have our Superstars Fatal 4-Way matchup. Just getting everybody on the show. Hell, great lineup. Hell of a talents here. Uh, and our winner in a one-star dull matchup is AJ Styles. One star? You got AJ Styles, Cedric Alexander, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, Wes Lee. Former North American champion one star i don't care if it's a cold matchup and that there's no heat on this no rivalry except the one coming out of it that deserves at least a two and a half with 2k 2k listen 2k 25 we need to get more realistic here nonetheless we have our tag team main event which even if it's good i already know what our show notes are going to be it's going to say the opener should have been the main opener outshine the main whatever but it's kevin owens and randy orton champions versus challengers against die jack and bronson reed Die Jack injured for four weeks. Wah, wah, wah. Well, you know, had to happen to somebody. Here's what it is. Two and a half star okay matchup. Could have been better. Could have been better. All right, not going to lie. NXT, we're going to go ahead and simulate this in a second. But NXT, pretty solid opener. Tables match, tag team. Uh, Tiffany Stratton and EO Sky, their current women's tag team champions versus Charlotte and Liv Morgan. I got to respect it. And I guess it's just women's tag team week as SmackDown over here with uh, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark, the most realistic thing the CPU uh, will book, taking on Bailey and Chelsea. 
hold on a second. Hold on a second. Do they got Braun Strowman and Julius Creed? Well, it's a promo, not a match, but still. The, the SmackDown over here, Theodore Longbook and Braun Strowman and Julius Creed, champion versus champion. I More realism. More realism in 2K25 for my GM. That wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't. All right. <sighs> nonetheless, nonetheless. Well, we obviously outshined everybody with our opener. Um, well, actually, it says good booking. Our, uh, our show notes here. Your opener and main event were the highlights of your show, as they should be. Focus on raising the quality of your matches for a higher show result. I honestly thought it was going to say something about our opener outshining our main event and how that's a problem. So you know what? I'll take it this week. I'll take it. We obviously had the best opener. You know, solid main event, even though it was the worst of the three. I'll take what I can get. You know, I'd have to go back and check, but I'm not sure if our show quality has ever been above a D, which is crazy because we've put on some solid shows, at least, you know, from a, if, if you're looking at it on paper perspective, but what can you do? We got some money. We got some fans. We're probably still in third when it comes to the rankings, but <laughs> it's what it is. We did earn a power card for our, uh, completing our commissioner goal this week. It is bad timing. Select an opposing brand, reduce the length of one of their contracts by one week selected randomly cannot be used on contracts within one week remaining or during week 25 so we could completely screw up a contract situation for smackdown or nxt very interesting theodore long smackdown number one uh with julius creed who uh you know i feel like that happened last year as well the cpu loves the creed brothers i don't know why not that it gets the creed brothers but like when roman reigns is in free agency and julius creed is the top star in the company this is what I'm saying, 2K. I feel like, you know, the old the old GM mode back in the day, there was some realism with, at least when it came to the star power at first. A little bit more realism in my GM would be cool. I ju I'm just saying, it just takes me out of it a little bit. You know, why, why is Julius Creed the WWE champion top of the, top of the boards on SmackDown and Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes are in free agency? I'm just saying. Nonetheless, let's freaking move on here. We are... One week away from SummerSlam. Triple H, we have a few influencers who are eager to help our brand, uh, or eager to help our brand. I'm sure there's a way you can help each other. We need to get ECW to the top of the charts. Let's pay them 25K. Uh, let's partner with a few of them for now. I'll pay them 15K. Uh, I mean, listen, they wouldn't. Tri this wouldn't be a thing if it, me accepting wasn't going to do us right. Um, but 25K is a lot, and I don't think we have a huge budget right now, like less than 100K. So I'm going to give them 15K and see what happens. They should bring in a good amount of fans with that budget. I'll let you know the results next week. Cool. AJ Styles uh, has to say, I'm putting in a lot of work, and I think I've earned a shot at the ECW World Championship. How about that? Obviously, I'm going to say yes, AJ. I'm not trying to piss anybody off. So uh, you'll get your shot within three weeks. All right, we are one week away until SummerSlam. Our commissioner goal this week is to have at least one Extreme Rules match. And uh, I don't think we have anything in the journal or, well, contract besides contracts expiring and AJ Styles' uh, title matchup. Show Logistics is shining over here. What do we got going on? Did we unlock email campaign? I believe we did. So let's go ahead and purchase that. We need to uh, you know, get the brand out there a little bit more. Go ahead and check out the talent scouts as you guys know we ain't using no uh created wrestlers over here just completely takes me out of the mode we're using wwe talent so let's see what wwe talent is available at renowned stars um nobody who i'm really looking to bring in let's uh let's go back to the top here let's look at icons let us see who is available for icons not enough cash or scouts Okay, wow, our budget is really fucking small. I did not realize how small our budget was. 20,000. Whew! Man, we might need to, like, release some talent. Or something, you know what I mean? We need to release some talent. <sighs> well, first things first. We, we earned this bad timing power card, and, uh, you know, we need all the help we can get. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna screw over William Regal and uh nxt give him that bad timing can we use this hell spot card on die jack we cannot but we can use injury rehab i believe yes we can die jack's recovery time will be reduced by three weeks yes all right let's see what we can do for uh for twenty thousand uh this week so we are one week away from SummerSlam. we need to give aj styles a title match within the next three weeks all right so we we're gonna try to get kevin owens and uh bray wyatt going so we'll have them go one-on-one -on -one here our commissioner goal is to have at least one extreme rules match but the extreme rules stipulation cost twenty thousand. 
our entire budget. So guess what we're not doing this week? We're not completing our commissioner goal is what it is. So nonetheless, we're going to have Randy Orton versus Brunson Reed. And uh, just to help out our show, if it will, we're going to put the title on the line. Might as well. Our show needs all the help we can get. Let's, uh, I know this feud may be a little bit dead in the water. Oh man, we can't, we can't have Braun Breaker wrestle this week. This dude's got three stamina. And the rivalry's on cooldown anyway. God damn it. Oh, everybody's getting beat up. Who can we, who can we have work? I don't even, d d disregard. Back to, back to the drawing board. Let's just go a one-on-one -on -one match between AJ Styles and, uh... My goodness. Ilya Dragunov. I know they're both baby faces, but Ilya Dragunov, 33 stamina. Could be worse. 67 popularity. I would put Dexter in there because he's more popular, but he has less stamina. And I'm just, I, I don't want anybody to get hurt right now. I don't know. It's probably not going to do that good. But let's just do Styles and Dragunov. And then we'll go ahead and uh, I believe Cedric and Dominic had a rivalry coming out of the Fatal 4-Way last week. So we will do that. And then what's the, uh, let's do an advertising promo here. With Dexter Loomis. Costs zero. So we're going to do three advertising promos. Try to get some some dollars. Alright. There's one with with Braun Breaker. And uh, we'll send old, old Corbs out there to uh, do our last one. Alright. So hopefully nobody gets injured this week. And uh, we got all our show logistics on. The best ones we have available. With a $20,000 uh, budget. The whole reason we can't have our commissioner goal this week. Is because we don't have the money for it. So... Nonetheless, Randy Orton and Brunson Reed kicking things off for the ECW Television Championship. And the winner is Big Bronson Reed, your brand new television champion. I believe he was our first champion, then Orton won it. Reed wins the title back. Three and a half star, great matchup. Might be another case of that match should have been in the main event. Is what it is. Dexter Loomis getting us uh, $12,500. Things you love to see. We move on to Dirty Dom versus Cedric Alexander. And the winner is Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Two and a half stars. I will take it. Rivalry grows as well. So definitely pretty solid, I would say. Uh, Braun Breaker getting us a sweet 11,000. Very nice there. We will move on to our uh, pretty ice cold matchup. I'm not expecting too much here. Even though they are some pretty popular stars. But you know how this game is. AJ Styles versus one half. Of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ilya Dragunov. And the winner is AJ Styles. One and a half star. Disappointing. <laughs> it's disappointing, all right. Baron Corbin getting us a sweet 10,000 with his advertising promo. And then we have Kevin Owens versus Bray Wyatt. Bray's first match as a heel. And the winner is not Bray Wyatt. So it looks like the heel turn not going his way that early. Kevin Owens wins in a two and a half star okay matchup dexter uh, or sorry orton and reed probably should have been the main event i'll learn how this game works eventually but there you see the cpu loves the creed brothers brutus creed challenging eric for the north american title uh unfortunately i'm not going to stick around to find out who wins and there you got smackdown show uh do we care no we don't simulate all right we got another good booking this week you know your opener main event were the highlights um, honestly, Alexander Mysterio wasn't half bad. Uh, you know, so it was, the, it was the second placed, if you will, on the first mid card matchup. The, the styles and dragon off did not do us very good, unfortunately, but another solid week, you know, made some money technically. So overall keeping ECW afloat, it's probably pretty good. All right. See, this is what I'm talking about. Who the hell does William Regal have as the NXT women's champion right now? You know, I don't. We got to stop. Take out, take out these local competitors next year. Freaking real WWE characters only or created characters. None of these independent local talent. Get them out of here. Nonetheless, it is week 10. It is time for SummerSlam. However, uh, we got contracts, I think, to sign. And uh, my God, this is... I don't even, I haven't even read any of these emails yet, but I know they're not going to go my way. <clears throat> first things first, Triple H, we just got the results in from the influencers. They managed to bring in 4K new fans. Well, at least we didn't lose any. What, it's not not good enough? 4,000? I mean, <sighs> should have been more for the price we paid. Well, glad it paid off. I got, you know, whatever. Nonetheless, Bray Wyatt, my contract with ECW will expire at the end of this week. I'd be interested in, uh, interested in staying another five weeks, and the cost would be 
109,000. Our budget is just over 100K. Do we need Bray Wyatt? I know Ilya Dragunov right underneath of him. Same thing, contract situation. He's one half of our tag team champions right now. We have to pay him. Uh, uh, let's talk figures. He's gonna he's gonna be mad at 76k. Like, let's just be real. He's gonna be mad at 76k. He's not gonna take. He's gonna be like, oh, I'm only worth 76k. This is gonna come back to bite me. Just sign him. Just sign him. I I shouldn't have done that. Cause now I don't think we're gonna have enough enough money to play. Blah. Enough money to pay Dragonoff. I'd love to dragon off. Fuck! Damn it! I should have released Bray Wyatt. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. Send your super chats. Send your th yeah. We'll try to save Ilya Dragon off. I'm. I. This is why ECW went out of business. Poor ownership. I'm a creative thinker. I'm not a businessman. <sighs> Nonetheless, Triple H said, uh, "I've noticed you haven't been making regular use of call out promos. They're a useful tool." For you as GM, whatever, Hunter, whatever. I don't got the time. Die, Jack. What the? What is going on? What is going on? Where's the camera? Up here, up here, up here. Hey. Sorry, we got a new webcam. Die, Jack. I've had enough. I have. I, I've had enough crap. Working at ECW has been a complete joke. You were world champion. You were world champion. The only way you can convince me to stay is a 100k bonus. You know what? Just for that attitude, I would say, listen, I don't have the money. I'd be cordial. But just for that attitude, forget it. Up yours, Die Jack. Get out of here. You're gone. I don't need you. Brunson Reed, what the fuck do you want? Listen, I'm not feeling physically 100%. I don't mind pain, but I don't want a serious injury. Is it okay if I take two weeks off? Oh, Bronson Reed, you're only the North American champion, one of the most important guys on my roster, but sure, go fuck off for two weeks. That's exactly what ECW needs right now. Tell you what, take a week off at a hell spa. I'll meet you in the middle, and if he's if he's mad about that, then so be it. And so be it. Thanks, boss, I appreciate it. Now, now that's a team player. Now, that's a team player. Big Brunson Reed. That's my fucking guy. Nonetheless, it is SummerSlam week. Still need to give AJ Styles a title match. Triple H is telling us not to book our most popular giant this week. I don't even know if we have a giant on our show. I can't, like, give this guy more money right now. This shit, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna have to hope that they lose the titles this week. I, I don't know what else to do. You know, I also didn't realize till right now, nobody told me, thanks a lot, uh, that searching for, uh, for talent cost money i've just been over here paying attention to the scouts so uh you know that's been wasting my dollars i i haven't even been on this page this career page but as you can see we are currently ranked three bottom of the barrel i i've had enough of this i'm quit i quit all right let's just try to book something here dude uh kevin owens and uh bray wyatt we're gonna have these two and something not very costly do a tables matchup for the ECW championship. We are going to go uh, Orton. Where the hell is uh, Bronson Reed's busy? Fuck! God, I, I for television title can't be on the line at SummerSlam. My goodness, this show's gonna fucking suck. Nonetheless, <laughs> oh, tag team tape, tag team extreme rules, and just let's just blow twenty thousand at this point. Who? Why does it matter? Got to take the titles off Dragon off. So uh, but the rivalries, you know what? Whatever. I don't even care if the rivalries on a cooldown. Corbin and Break are our best chance to win win the title. So Dragon off doesn't leave with the belt. Not literally, but I'm just you know making a joke here. Cedric Alexander versus Dirty Dom will be a uh, just do it at a tables match. We'll do AJ Styles and Randy Orton, and we'll do another tables match because evidently that's AJ Styles' specialty matchup. And then all we have left is Frazier and Wes Lee. So obviously they are going to go one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, part of me wants to just say screw it and give them a freaking big stipulation. I guess we'll just give them a tables match. You know, a bunch of tables matches on this show. Because why not? Not try to spend a bunch of money, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. You know, I could spend $50,000 on the SummerSlam uh, stadium. But is it really worth it? You know, is it really worth it? Plus 5% in show quality capacity is bigger ticket prices are plus two dollars 
Listen, dude, I, listen, dude, I gotta be smart. You know, I'm just... I, maybe, and maybe it would be smart to buy the SummerSlam Stadium. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's go ahead and confirm this show. ECW SummerSlam ECW Heat Wave. Let's call it for uh, for, for funsies. Um, Nathan Frazier taking on Wesley in a tables matchup. The winner sees Wesley three... Or, excuse me. No, let, me get, let me not get ahead of myself there. Two and a half star rivalry complete we got aj styles and randy orton in a tables matchup these are two pretty popular guys on our roster so hopefully the ratings do somewhat good aj styles evidently you know they call this guy phenomenal but he can't pull in more than two stars so you know make it make sense another tables matchup cedric alexander versus dirty dominic mysterio and uh, the winner's going to be Cedric Alexander. Three-star good matchup. See, that is pulling your weight for ECW. You know, we should have just released AJ Styles, kept Ilya Dragunov. You know what? It, it's all just a learning lesson. We're going to finish off this season. We're going to come back next season freaking blaze of glory. We're only halfway through this season. I'm just speaking it into existence. Uh, tag team titles are on the line. I would like Breaker and Corbin to win the titles here. Obviously, the titles will just go vacant if Dragunov retains and then he leaves the brand. But, or at least I assume they would. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. It is an Extreme Rules matchup. Cost us $20,000 to put this matchup on. And uh, I can see on the screen right here that uh, we have a three and a half star great matchup. Braun Breaker is injured for three weeks. Braun Breaker. In injured for three weeks. Did I say interested? I meant injured. And Dragunov's leaving. What what is going on this week? What is going on this episode? I I can't do it anymore. I'm putting in my two weeks. Kevin Owens versus Bray Wyatt for the ECW World Championship. It is a tables matchup. Hopefully it does us well, and hopefully I'm see I I see this screen a second before I see this screen. Meaning I see it just a second before you got. Kevin Owens wins the thing, and you know what? That's fine. Kevin Owens retains the title, no problem there. But you know what pisses me off about that? We just paid Bray Wyatt out the ass. And this guy can't beat Kevin Owens? Should've kept dragging off. Should've kept dragging off. Three star, three and a half star. Great matchup, and the rivalry is officially created. Maybe Bray will come out on the other side and eventually be the world champion. But it looks like SummerSlam slash Heat Wave wasn't his night. Nonetheless... NXT SummerSlam. I uh, can't tell by the background. I'm not sure if they paid. Not sure if they paid for the stadium or not. But uh, here is their card. Who the hell is wrestling Natalia in the second matchup? Is that is that my fifth grade teacher? What the hell is that? I'm sorry. Is that what is that? Johnny Depp teaming with with Eric? What 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 the hell? What what are we watching here? Some nobody versus Piper Niven. Brutus Creed versus Logan Paul in their main event. Give me a break. Yet AJ Styles can't pull in more than one and a half stars. I'm, I'm over it. And then you got Josh Briggs versus Humberto Carrillo. What, what did Tony Schiavone say back in the day? Oh, that'll put butts in seats. Nonetheless. You, you know, and here's, and here's, here's SmackDown over here. Julius Creed, their WWE champion. Braun Strowman, their Intercontinental champion. They're not even wrestling. They're just calling each other out. Where's the realism in my GM? Forget how much things cost. I want realistic booking. Nonetheless, let's see how we did. Good booking. Uh, there's our opener. We lost. Mid-card loss. Mid-card loss. Uh, second in uh, the third mid-card match. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. We got a good booking. Is, uh, is what it is, you know. That's our show. Alexander and Mysterio. Their rivalry advances. Braun Breaker out for three mother effing weeks. Kevin Owens and Bray Wyatt rivalry really kick it into high gear. You successfully accomplished the commissioner goal this week, which I believe was to not have a giant on the show, but we don't even have a giant on our roster, I don't think. So uh, we got the blinded uh, power card, which selected opposing brands who start next week with zero scouting points. Good to know. Good to know. Obviously, we are third, third in the rankings which is absolute blasphemy, but, uh, you know, whatever. And since it is post-SummerSlam, we can request some trades. So let's see if this works out for us this time. We, we didn't do any uh, trades after, uh, what's it, Hell in a Cell that worked out. So who's who's on NXT that we could bring over to uh, to ECW on Sci-Fi on Tuesday nights? Yeah, so uh, anyway, let's see what SmackDown's got to offer. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, it's real. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even trying to. I'm not even trying to joke around here. But there's nobody who's like, oh man, they would be a huge plus for our roster. Like I know Drew Gulak and Veer Mahan are 70 popularities, but like there's no fun in booking Veer Mahan in my main event. Like it's just not fun. I want to have fun, not just book to win. You know what I mean? You know what? Instead of wasting my time requesting trades that I'm not even interested in, I'm just gonna advance forward and see if they offer me any trades like we did last time so uh let's see what we got here here we go nxt is offering us robert rude for nathan frazier and sixty one thousand dollars cash you know i like the trade of rude versus frazier however the cash um is something we need to keep in into account because we don't have that much cash we actually evidently have a bigger budget than william regal's nxt does which is pretty shocking um rude's more popular but he also costs more and again money is a is an issue so honestly someone's probably gonna tell me i'm wrong in the comments and hey feel free because i need all the help i can get i'm gonna decline this trade i'm gonna decline this trade give me something worth showing up to the table for let's see what smackdown's got to offer us smackdown is offering us one hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars as is for nathan frazier what's with nathan frazier i think he's the most po least popular guy on my roster i don't know why they're all trying to trade for nathan obviously it's a money thing um there's just no fun in that dude see here's what here's what i'm talking about back in the day gm mode smackdown vs raw i'd be like listen i'm trying to get Shawn michaels on my roster how am i gonna get Shawn michaels all right he's like an 85 to make it something up popularity oh i got batista he's he's a, he's a 90 popularity let me let me do that or maybe let's go less i got uh, i got carlito who's like a 75 i got shelton benjamin i built him up he's like an 82 maybe we'll do a two for one and like there's some real talent exchanges there i you know nathan frazier for 132 thousand dollars cash this is an nba 2k all right i want fantasy shit you know what i'm saying but also realistic never mind should i just take the money i'm asking you guys like you can answer should i just take the money um you know what fuck it let's just for the sake of doing a trade i'll give them nathan frazier and maybe we'll pick up somebody in the scout look at this we finally shook hands on a deal nathan frazier's going to smackdown and uh, paul Heyman's ecw got some much needed money oh and now look at this now teddy long wants to try to screw us over after we just accepted his trade select an opposing brand double the cash cost of their talent scout searches next week well you know teddy long gives us money and now he's trying to cost us money that son of a bitch oh man triple h i've got a uh what does that say lo lo lucrative deal for you alexander is getting pretty popular and a major studio approached us to have him star in a movie the deal's simple cedric shoots the picture for three weeks and ecw gets five hundred and forty five thousand dollars that is very intriguing the downside is that Alexander won't be able to do any shows while he's shooting, but he might come back even more popular if the movie does well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say yes. I'm going to take that money and also hope that Alexander comes back more popular. So we'll go ahead and take that money for Cedric Alexander. Triple H also goes on to say, I'm a little concerned that you're falling off the pace compared to SmackDown. You need to do better. Maybe a little injection of class will help turn things around. I'm giving you a homecoming power card. It will allow you to make any contracted superstar permanent to your brand. Really could have used that before Ilya Dra- Well, maybe, maybe Dragunov still- No, I think he's actually gone, actually. Well, <laughs> thanks to a little too late, Trips. You better up your game. A couple more shows like that, and your fans are going to end up being my fans. <sighs> your fans clearly have really low expectations. That's exactly what we're going to say. That's exactly what we're going to say. You're not going to make it in this business. Regal, I don't need this right now. AJ Styles, they love us, Heyman. Don't you think it's time to take the next step? I'm talking, of course, about some better effect packages so that the talent can take the next step in superstardom. It's time for me to shine. AJ, why haven't I bought more effects for the show? Money. Money. Whatever. Kevin Owens. Hey, boss. I was so... I was hoping to take some personal time off. Can I get two weeks off? What am I supposed to do? What am I, if I say no, our most popular guy is, is morale goes down. 
Ask me again in a few weeks. That's fair. But, like, we're going to need Owens no matter what. Two weeks off, but we just lost. Oh, wait, Reed's out for, you know, he's, he's going to be back. Uh, this, this is hard. This is, this is hard. Let, let's see what he says for Ask Me Again in a few weeks. Now, small decrease. <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's fucking great all right select a shake-up superstars gain three more ring xp from training promos get what you pay for match types that cost more than 40k grant 20 percent more ring xp class is in session select a superstar the selected superstar and all your superstars on your roster who share that class gain uh let's do that let's do that that, that seems nice and easy uh who classes uh, what we got we got Bru bruisers fighters cruisers fucking i don't even know um we'll go bruisers so all the bruisers are gonna get some xp bonus all right we are four weeks away from a fast lane but i feel like i need a smoke and a drink after this episode not literally youtube don't don't take me down it's just a joke but nonetheless, leave your thoughts down below in the comments and feel free to be a co-GM. Let me know what I should do from here. If you, if this was your my GM, take it from here in the comments below. What are you doing? What's your next move? After everything that happened in this episode, just getting over and over again, what's your next move? Let me know. Help me out. And if this is the first my GM video you are watching, we have two previous episodes, one with the draft and uh, one with hell and the cell. And of course, more throughout those episodes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of WWE 2K24, my GM. Be sure to click the like and subscribe down below. More episodes to come. Universe Mode every Monday and Friday and every Wednesday on the No Nation Gaming TikTok page. Go find me across all social medias at No Nation Vlogs. If you want to support just a little extra, hit the join button down below and become a No Nation Gaming channel member. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.